This is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In today's video, we will be discussing five senior auditor interview questions. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer. These questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I've pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, mockquestions.com. Now let's get started. Question number one, as a senior auditor, what are some steps you can take to guide new staff when out on client engagements? Even though a senior auditor is not a manager level position, the interviewer wants to know if you have management skills. Some examples include providing on the job training and serving as a liaison between the audit manager and the junior staff. I take pride in taking more junior staff under my wing when out on audit engagements. There will be times when I am the most senior person in the field and it will be my responsibility to take on managerial duties. I enjoy passing on my knowledge to others and providing on the job training. Question number two, how would you deliver excellent customer service to clients in your role as a senior auditor? Being able to interact and communicate effectively with clients is a key skill for an auditor and also shows that the candidate possesses the ability to grow into larger roles within the organization, such as manager and director. Setting a good example for more junior staff is a key responsibility of a senior auditor. I believe that being able to communicate with our clients effectively will be key from day one. Whenever I communicate with anyone, I make sure that I am responsive. If I can't give someone the information they are seeking right away, I make sure to let them know the anticipated timing. If there are unexpected delays, I provide updates. I would also make sure I review any documents or emails I send to other departments in order to build trust in my abilities. I would act professionally while out in the field at our clients' places of business. Finally, it is important for me to set a good example for more junior staff members. Question number three, what is your experience with interacting with senior executives at various organizations? A senior auditor will at times be expected to interact with senior leadership of the firm's clients. Highlight that you not only have experience presenting in front of leadership, but also that you are comfortable doing it. Be specific with what you presented. I have ample experience getting in front of leadership and presenting. In my previous role as staff auditor, I would meet with controllers, CFOs, and other client leadership while completing walkthrough documentation. I always felt the need to prepare in advance for any questions that might arise and would often circle back promptly on follow-ups that developed during those meetings. Even though these were low-risk conversations, the interactions gave me confidence at an early stage in my career. Question number four, what are some of the ways that you can show professionalism when out on an audit assignment? In public accounting, as well as many other service-based professions, showing professionalism while interacting with clients is essential. The interviewer is gauging how much awareness the candidate has. It is extremely important to display professionalism when we are out in the field conducting audit procedures at our client's place of business. First and foremost, I know that I must look the part by adhering to the appropriate dress code. For some clients, a suit is appropriate. For others, business casual attire. Secondly, I know I must act professionally. This means speaking respectfully to all personnel, whether it is a company's CFO or a personal assistant. I shouldn't take personal phone calls or play music loudly. As a general rule, I shouldn't do or say anything that would harm our firm's reputation. Question number five, how do you manage your manager? In other words, what steps do you take to make sure you get what you need from your boss and make both your lives easier? Also known as managing up, managing your manager is a soft skill that can be developed over time. It essentially means doing whatever is necessary to make your manager's job easier. Some clear-cut benefits of managing up include increased productivity and better working relationships between the boss and their employee. I am a firm believer in the benefits of managing my manager. At the end of the day, I want to make the internal audit engagements we work on together run as smoothly as possible. One area where I really focus on is communicating and prioritizing workload on a regular basis. This ensures that I'm always working on the highest priority items Another thing that is crucial is understanding my manager's style. For example, do they like regular check-ins by email throughout the day, scheduled catch-up meetings? Then I tailor my communication to their style. Thank you for watching. If you want more senior auditor interview questions and answers, visit us at mockquestions.com.